In this video, I introduce the mean field approximation in machine learning. Mean field approximates behavior of a high dimensional model by replacing a unit with the average of his neighbors to simplify a complex problem as a sequence of simple problems. For example, a unit that has two neighbors in 1D model and four neighbors in a 2D model and six neighbors in a 3D model. Namely, mean field approximation has a better performance for high dimensional models. Mean field approximation was first proposed in Eisenlens model. Eisenlens model is to compute the probability Px of a random variable x over discrete units via a Boltzmann distribution here, where Gig is the interaction between uh, adjacent units i and g, and z is a partition function that is defined as a summation over all the units in a system graph. Log z is called free energy. Here we use a mean field approximation to solve the machine learning models that are similar to the Eisenlens model. Suppose that z is a latent variable Mean field approximation is used to find the approximate distribution Q of a posterior P in a complex graph here. If the distribution Q is completely factorized over individual latent variables, a joint probability Q from Z1 to Zm is approximated by a sequence of independent probabilities a Q Z G, namely joint probability of Z i to Z m Z one to Z m is equal to product of Q Z G. This is simple and straightforward assumption often generates a very good result even without considering unit uh, flux situations. The optimal joint probability Q star is uh, found by minimizing KL divergence of uh, Q and P here. Mean field approximation allows us to minimize this uh, KL divergence along each QZG instead of uh, directly compute the joint probability QZ. By computing gradient of objective function defined by KL divergence with respect to Q, we obtain the update equation of a mean field approximation here, where xg qg indicates a message sent from node g to i, or ni neighbors from a mean field of unit xi. Theta IG is a model parameters of a mean field and AI is a bias. Practically, we compute the features XI, for example, from a deep neural network, and then use a correlated ascent method to find the model parameters Theta IG and finally generate the approximation QZ of the posterior pro probability P. For more details, please check with these references. Thank you. Bye.